I have covered series of events from football to marathon and even news broadcast. But there's one question I get asked all the time, and that is what tools do you use to design the graphics or the templates that you make use of for those different events? Is it Premiere Pro? Is it After Effects? Is it Photoshop? The Vimeo software? What tools do you use? I'm not only going to be showing you, I'm also going to be walking you through the step by step on how you could implement it on the Vimeo software, the OBS software. And also, if you have the Stream Deck, I'm also going to be showing you the plugin that you can install to use these tools with your Stream Deck. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, smash that red subscribe button below, give the video a thumbs up, and let's dive in. The name of this tool is called Overlay.uno, and that is the name here, Overlay.uno. And I'm also going to drop the URL of the site in the description of this video. Before we go ahead and talk about the integration process and how you can integrate it to the OBS, the Vimeo and the rest of the live video production softwares out there, let me show you that some of the features that they have and how you can also customize them as well. Now you have access to select the display size that you want if you want it on landscape or if you want it on vertical or the square, it gives you access to different format that you can also make use of as well. All the overlays that you're getting are on transparent background and you can I have the option to choose whichever if you want to use a custom background on it or if you want it on transparent background to put it on on your product or to use it for your production mm. the color palette that allows you to use different colors for all the lower third and overlays that you have you can use any color at all that you want to make use of you can use your own custom color for all the overlays that are available on your site as well and i love the fact that it gives you access to customize everything you can customize every single thing from the text to the timer and if you want to use the lifetime tool as well it gives you access to customize that different time zones that you can also sell it from they will introduce tons of lower thought as well and when you click on the copy output url they also give you a qr code to scan you can also copy the link or you can also scan the qr code for it as well this is a stream pack you have it here and also this is another stream pack as well and if you go down, this is another one that you can also use as well. And this one is for those that are running sports event. You can also use this one as well. And this is the score bug here. Just pick whichever one uh, overlays that you want. Let me just go ahead and pick. Let's start with this one. I'm just going to pick this. Okay. This one is okay. So I'm just going to pick this one to go ahead and click on add to my overlays. You click on that it adds that to your own overlays i mean all the overlays that you've already saved on the site this is for you to always go back to them in case you want to reuse them again and it saves that for you on my overlays here at the same time you can also you know, remove the ones that you no longer want uh, on your own overlays and you can go ahead to the library and add new ones as well you're going to see this three dot line there by the side of any of the overlays that you want to make use of now once you click on that you're going to see open preview copy control url and also the copy output url and rename duplicate and move to trash now we're just going to go ahead and go click on this copy output url the next thing you're going to do open up the obs software and click on this add button here below on the sources and once you click on this go ahead and select browser click on the browser tab here and just go ahead and rename this and once you're done click on ok here and then once that is up, go ahead and paste on the URL here, just paste the link that we just copied. That's the output URL that we copied. And once you've already done that on the right here, just type 1920 by 1080. And once you're done, click on OK. And this will bring the overlay down to your own OBS software. If you want to customize the overlays, on the OBS software, you can go ahead and click on the three dot line again. When you select open, you will, that's will open up the customization panel for you to be able to customize it. Now, if you copy this output URL, you can add it to OBS as doc. Let's just go ahead and copy the output URL again, open up the OBS software. And once it's up, click on docs here. At the top of the screen on the OBS, just click on docs. And from here, Go over to custom browser docs here, click on that. And from here, you're going to add it on the new one. We're going to name it o overlay control. This is the link that you copied. That's the output control. The next thing that you're going to do, just go ahead and click on apply here. And let's go ahead and close this. 
This will give you access to all the customization features and you can be able to edit all the title yourself. Choose the ones you want to display and the ones you don't want to display. So for example, if I don't want to shoot the live ball here, I'm just going to turn it off. And once I turn it off, it goes away. And if I turn it on again, it comes up and you can be able to edit the titles or the text that you want to pop up on it. And this is the timer tool here. You can see you can automatically set up the timer yourself just by adding in your, your zone that's the local and then you can choose the format and it will display the current time of wherever you are and if you go back to the lower third so you can also choose to turn that off this remove the lower third for you while you edit the text and once you are done you can just go ahead and pop it up again on the screen type what the text you want to shoot scrolling on the screen so you can be able to change all of that you can be able to change the text yourself and if you also go over to the settings here, you can be able to set up the speed that you want to make use of. So if you want it faster or if you want it, you know, a bit slow or medium, you can be able to set all of that here. And if you go over to the talking point here, this is the property here. You have the top stories, the topic one, topic two, different topics. If you turn that off, see the way it transitions out. And if you click on it again, it brings that in. So you can always re-edit it, turn it off, re-edit, and then bring it back on over to the customization here it has the color palette where you can be able to choose the color you want to make use of now if i want to change this color to good this is what happens can if i want to change this color to emerald this is what happens so you can choose any color you want and if you're not um, comfortable with the color that you have here you want to use your own custom color all you have to do is to click on edit here and you can be able to set the color code for whichever color you want so the, it gives you access to all the customizations. At the top here where you have the output settings, if you click on that, it gives you access to choose the display variant here. If you click, see, there's the landscape and also the background color if you want it in transparent or if you want it in green screen. If you want to integrate it also on the Vimi software, here is how you can also do that. There, this one is more complex. Let's copy the output URL. Go over to the Vimi software. Click on the add input again and then go over to web browser, paste the link. Make sure this uh, 1920 by 1080 is set already there. Click on OK and this will bring it on the VMIS software. Now, for you to be able to customize, click on the three dot line again. This will be the three dot line when you put your mouse on each or any of the templates and then go over to open. When you click on that, just click on open here and that will open up the customization panel for you now over here when you when let's go over to the soccer formations you can choose to turn it off or turn it on now before you turn off or on it has the preview button also on it let me show you and when you click on this drop down button at the top here it gives you the preview so meaning you can be able to preview all your uh, information that you're changing before it goes live on the vmi software the team information it gives you access to tons of things you can be able to change the logo and so you can be able to change the logo here all you just have to do is to click on this the button by the side of it you can be able to just drag and drop your logo here this is how i do it then the stadium name here and once you are done that there you see the on the settings you also have the player the player list here it also gives you an option if you want the player list to be on the left if you want the player list to be on the right they say you switch this from left to right and then right to left and you can also choose if you want the players images to show if you click on this button it turns off the player images meaning the players images are not going to show just their name as and it's also very handy if you don't have the images layers so you can be able to just turn it off but if you have the images you can also show it as well and it gives you access to all the football formations that you can make use of so this is my little secret habit i like the fact that it allows you to change the color you can see and change it to red when you click on it you can change it to kelly you can, you can select anyone blue here so you can choose any color that you want to make use of and also the width and the height here you can also be able to customize that and use this for any event at all that you're covering be it your church your meet whatever event at all that you're running you can use this 
to and it's very 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 handy so you don't need to start opening the after effects to start designing or the vmi software to start designing your graphics so you can do all of that all the customization using this so let me know what you think about it and don't forget to drop a like drop your comment and go ahead and register for the site thank you very much and see you on the next one